Investigators trying to figure out who shot and killed another 15 year old in the city's King Sessing section. Police say someone opened fire from the back of a silver Ford Taurus last night in an apparently random act of violence. Action News reporter Corey Davis talked to the victim's parents who say none of this makes any sense. Antonio Walker Jr. lost his life out here at South 52nd and Pinterest Street. His parents are telling us that the gun violence he fell victim to had nothing to do with who he was as a person. Antonio Walker Jr.'s parents are keeping this picture close, hanging on to everything that reminds them of their 15-year-old son. The loss of a kid, I will be mourning for the rest of my life. Yeah, no parent should ever have to bury their kid. It's my only son. Antonio's life was taken while walking with someone down South 52nd near Pentridge Street last night around 7 in King Sessing. His life was Too brutally, brutally cut short. Philadelphia police say someone driving by stopped and started shooting. Antonio suffered fatal injuries. And yesterday was one of the first nice days we had in a while. And it's crazy because I was actually interviewed eating at a restaurant yesterday and my son wanted to go hang with his cousin and I felt nothing wrong with that. His parents tell us he was dedicated to school and did not hang out in the streets. All he wanted to do was get back to school, um, you know, finish his education and become the professional athlete that he was. He worked out every single day. Here he is with his track medals around his neck. His mom says Antonio was a ninth grade track star at Freire Charter School in Center City. She wants him remembered that way rather than just another number. My son is another number of the, the this large rising number of homicides. My son is part of that number. It's devastating. He, his future was so bright, so bright. Investigators are telling us they did not find a weapon and are still working to gather more clues. In the meantime, Antonio's parents say they are planning his memorial service. Reporting here in the city's King Sessing section, Corey Davis, Channel 6 Action News.